Hey guys, we are at Creek Ridge Drive in Washington today, giving you a tour of this beautiful home. This home is located at the cul-de-sac. Um, it has a three car garage, which is split into a two plus one. There is a decent amount of space for side parking. view of the front it's a little bit of a front yard that's located off to the right side and this is the neighboring properties and it looks like there is a, a non-buildable lot right there that opens up to like a little hiking trail that goes down and there's a community up above. There are some townhomes that are up above on that ledge that are a slightly higher elevation. So let's head inside and see what this property has to offer. As we walk up the driveway, it takes us through this arched entryway. That uh, looks kind of cool. The entryway is matched by three windows that are up above with some beam looking uh, concrete fixtures. As we head inside, there is a door that takes you into your two car garage that is effectively detached from the property. And this is kind of a, an indoor outdoor space. So the the front courtyard, if you will, opens up to the pool. That's a good view of this pool. The pool is not incredibly large, but it takes up most of this courtyard. And then you have a staircase that takes you upstairs to the upstairs balcony. And this back gate that takes you to the back side of the actual backyard. So I guess technically, you know, logistically, this would be your backyard that has zeroscape landscaping. Uh, there's the neighboring block wall. The neighbors are a little bit higher up but because of the orientation of this pool, the pool is actually very private and there's also uh, a spa right here. The spa looks like it could sit comfortably, probably about six people. And there's a little barbecue area. I don't know how I managed to do these things without falling in the water. <laughs> See if we could get access to this side of the property since we're already here. So this is a one car. And then right next to it is a set of sliding doors. Um, I may have to access it. So this is actually a casita. Um, essentially, this is like detached living quarters. You have access to the pool through the sliding door. There is a Murphy bed right inside here that can be pulled down. It's usually a, a tricky way of doing it. I don't wanna break anything. So there's a Murphy bed with two dressers right beside it. A sink with a mini fridge and a microwave and its own ensuite bath with a walk-in shower, sink, and a little uh, cabinet with a mirror, and a little closet. So this space can be uh, pretty dependent because you have a separate entry, exit to the pool, and in fact, it's completely detached and isolated for, from the main house, providing for greater level of privacy.
Let's head inside the main house and check this out. This property features lots of windows, so you can see lots of daylight that enters it through the courtyard, kind of the pool area. And the living room has lots of open, open space. There's a nice touch with these uh, manufactured stone counters. Give you guys a closer look at that. There's lots of flakes. I don't know if you could see it through the video, but the flake gives it some sheen and the, the kitchen island itself is painted gray with nice tall cabinets. And there's also uh, gray countertops. So this is the manufactured stone on the back countertops is just finished in uh, flat gray. There's a gas cooktop, Whirlpool appliances, beautiful backsplash. And if we go in this direction, it will take us through the butler pantry with more cabinets and counter space. So this area, you could set up all of your kitchen appliances so they're tucked out of the way. And this takes us into a laundry room. Looks like it has an electric dryer. There's a powder room right off this entry. And that door takes us out into a two car garage. Hang on one sec. Oh, sorry, I'll get out of your way. No, you're fine. Just on the phone here. So this is the two car that opens out into the front courtyard, has a window, and then this door takes us back into the main house. the property actually take you guys upstairs and we'll head back down to finish this tour there's a staircase with under stair storage beautiful modern metal railing that takes you all the way up And as we head upstairs, there are two doors for both the upstairs bedrooms. This suite also has an ensuite bath that's attached to it. The beautiful walk-in shower with a glass door. This is the furnace room attached to this room with uh, some extra storage in there as well. It's just a single sink. With a nice large mirror and soft closed cabinets. This room also has a nice large sliding glass door that takes you out onto the back deck that is overlooking the pool. Let's check out our second upstairs bedroom. Just to give you guys a better feel for this space. This bedroom also goes out on the rear deck, or front deck, if you will, depending on which direction you're looking at. And it also has an ensuite bath. It does not have a, a dedicated water closet in this 
this shower does not have a glass door, but it's a very similar space to the other bath that we just saw. It has a, a pedestal sink with a little cabinet with the mirror built into it. And this suite has a spacious closet. It's a walk-in closet that's attached to it. The homeowner is here during this tour and uh, has been on the phone, so we're just trying to uh, kind of navigate around each other. So I'll give you guys a good view of this hallway. And that concludes upstairs. And the only thing that we have to check out is the master suite downstairs. Take a look at this beautiful staircase. Here's another great view of uh, the main living area and the kitchen. And let's take a look at the master suite. So the master suite has lots of light that comes in through these rear patio doors that slide open. And the backyard has really low to no maintenance. Just gotta spray it with weed killer. There's another set of sliding doors that takes you out towards the pool. So pool can be accessed from so many different parts of this house. You could literally access the pool from every bedroom from the casita bedroom, from the master suite, and there is a spiral staircase that takes you up to access that pool from the upstairs bedrooms. And here is the master bath. Little makeup counter with some cabinets. Nice walk-in, fully tiled shower. Great detail on the floor. Kind of a unique looking tile that almost looks like it has wood grain. And there is a dual sink setup that is divided by a freestanding tub. It's a really cool, unique looking freestanding tub. There's a frosted window and a water closet that has the door for added privacy. Give you guys another view of the master suite. It's not overwhelmingly large, but it could uh, comfortably accommodate a king size bed with two nightstands, chair or chase. So they have a dresser on this side as well. I don't feel that this tour is complete unless I take you upstairs to show you the views of the pool from this balcony. There's lots of rear deck space. Um, this awning up above the pool has some built-in speakers. So it's pre-wired for outdoor entertainment. I'll just give you guys a view from this elegant metal staircase that takes us all the way up. I would imagine that uh, many have attempted to dive right off this staircase. It is certainly the first thought that comes to my mind. So as we step up here, again, is the view of the pool. And really the view of the entire neighborhood. i give you a 360 panorama to give you a better idea of what we're looking at. This is a locking gate. You could lock it for some added safety if you've got some kids on the upstairs level and you don't want them jumping over. I'll just 
just walk around to hopefully give you guys a better better perspective on what it feels like to be on this property. This concludes our tour. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them below this video or just shoot me a text. I will see you in the next one. Say, lay, 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 lay.